so hi everyone uh, after understanding what are siamese network is time we code out uh, a dummy siamese network train over a classification problem so basically uh, in my previous video i have discussed how siamese network can use a one shot learning that is like giving very few uh, samples how siamese network can, uh, is still able to learn about the entire data set the distribution performed quite well so let's get started so first of all we would be importing all the important libraries as you can see here uh, now second step would be to load the mnist uh, toy data set so first of all what we would be doing is we would be training up a baseline convolution uh, network over MNS data set and then using that uh, uh, convolution network and using transfer learning we will be training a Siamese network so I think that's fine so after loading uh, loading the uh, MNS data set and reshaping it into a size of 32 cross 32 images we will be training a baseline uh, uh, convolution uh, network which is nothing but consists of two convolution uh, con 2d layers uh, and the final uh, after flattening we have majorly got three dense layers now uh, of dimension 512, 256 and the final one is 10 because MNS has 10 classes using an activation function softmax. Uh, now I think I won't be jumping much into its uh, technicalities because training a, a basic convolution network uh, is not the aim of this particular video. So I would be skipping that just uh, to uh, show you the baseline what we would be doing is we would be using an atom optimizer uh, and then fitting over the MNS data set uh, for this particular baseline network. Uh, once we are done, uh, the next part is key. I would be creating a dummy data set for basic classification. So I have uh, got two classes. One is uh, uh, an image which is randomly generated and other is an image which is randomly generated but has but also has some rectangular shape present somewhere in the image. So this class which has a rectangle becomes R1 and this class which doesn't have a rectangle becomes a zero class. So this code is basically around that. I think you won't be requiring this. So, uh, but just for your knowledge, uh, one would hold images with uh, images with a rectangle, and zero would hold images with no rectangle. So that's a negative class. Uh, now, I would be defining the loss function and other utilities that we would be using. Uh, so one is the Euclidean distance function that we would be using, uh, that over which we will try, uh, which would be the output for the Siamese network. So we would be calculating and we'll try to minimize this uh, Euclidean distance between the images. Uh, this is a function for computing accuracy and the last one is a, a function to calculate the contrastive loss So we won't be using the triplet loss that we have discussed earlier in the previous video, but we would be using contrastive loss for now uh, It's pretty I think it's pretty self-explanatory given the equation of uh, what is con contrastive loss uh, Now the third would be uh, like generating training and validation data set So the train generating this data set is quite interesting So what we would be doing is uh, I would be taking uh, random samples from both 0 and 1 class uh, list that we have prepared uh, as I showed you earlier and we, I would be pairing them together so the pairs uh, with having both uh, classes from 1 would be taken as 1 and a pair which don't match uh, would be taken as a 0 so for any pair uh, to for, for label to be 1 both the images should belong to the class which has a rectangle and for uh, the label to be 0 for the training data set uh, the images shouldn't match so one uh, one image should be from the rectangle another should be from no rectangle section so using this code I would be generating those image pairs and setting up labels for this image pair now this would be become our input data set uh, which means that we would be inputting two images together and expecting a label 0 or 1 I think that's fine so here what we have done is that we have taken a random value from true and false and depending upon the value we are choosing okay uh, what label to give so if uh, if the value is true uh, we are giving a label 1 and we are getting both the images from uh, the list 1 that we created earlier uh, for rectangular images and else if the value is false uh, I would taking one image from 1 and other image from 0 so that both the image don't match are uh, not from the same domain and the label set is 0 similar for test data set also we will be doing the same thing now it's time to modify the CNN and do go for transfer learning so the model that we train for MNS data set consists of the last layer has a uh, uh, a dense layer of 10 in the end using softmax so we would be removing that using this particular code model dot link minus 2 uh, so minus 2 means that the layer just above the final layer the dense 10 uh, dense with uh, value 10 with uh, using an activation of uh, softmax we won't be taking it as an output but we will be taking the previous layer which has a, which has a de uh, which has 256 as its value and activation function was ReLU we are taking that as an output now and the model input remains the same so we have just removed the last layer now what we will be doing is that and we will call this new model as model 2 now what we would be doing is we would be feeding uh, the image pair that we have got 
to uh, both the images to model to image a and image b and getting the output for these two images uh, feature vector 1 feature vector 2 and then we would be calculating the uh, euclidean distance between the two images the two feature vectors that we have got from this particular model after removing the final layer so this is what this code is all about uh, gen like removing the final layer generating uh, uh, feature embeddings for the images and then calculating the euclidean distance between the images now it's time to compile a Siamese network. Uh, so we would be setting up uh, Adam as our optimizer. Early shopping has been set up. Now if you look, so the model has an input of both images, image A and image B as we have already uh, prepared the pairs and output is equal to the distance. So the expected output uh, is uh, if both the images belong to the same category, which has a label one, so output is equal to one, else it should be zero. And then we would be optimizing over the contrastive loss function that we have declared earlier. Uh, training the model is uh, pretty easy uh, as we have seen so model fitting would be again uh, as we have already created uh, prepared the pairs uh, use uh, prepare the pairs for zero and one classes where if class one has both the images from the rectangular class and class zero has one image from rectangular another image from zeroth class uh, so we'll be fitting the model and saving the weights uh, using model dot uh, save, uh, save underscore weights and then finally we can look at the results also the results are pretty good so yeah, that's it.